And we also learned Senator Ted Kennedy came here to South Florida last winter to receive treatment for his brain cancer. Our senior political reporter Michael Putney is live with more on that in Coral Gables. JC, in fact, we just learned from University of Miami President Donna Shalala about this. Senator Ted Kennedy and his wife Vicki, she says, spent this past winter in a rented home out on Key Biscayne, and the senator was treated there for his brain cancer by University of Miami Medical School doctors. Also, at the medical school, it was all very discreet, very hush hush. We are just learning this now. Donna Shalala knew Senator Ted Kennedy even before she became the Secretary of Health and Human Services under President Clinton. Here is how she and some other prominent South Floridians are remembering Ted Kennedy today. He was a giant, but not because of what he said. He clearly was an advocate for the most vulnerable people in our society. It was because of what he did. He was not one of those senators that was just a talker. He was the most effective senator of his generation and probably the previous four generations. Passed more legislation. It was very focused legislation on the most vulnerable around among us. Every single piece of legislation that Ted Kennedy passed had bipartisan support. He and I can read it. Outstanding legislators on Capitol Hill, both House and Senate members knew it. Um, his son Patrick and I are good friends. Uh, I texted him this morning to let him know that my mother and I and our family, our prayers go out to them. Uh, we knew that they were going through a, a great deal um, with the senator over the last 15 months, but uh, the Kennedy family um, has been the American story. Um, of all his trials and tribulations, but also the victories that have come out of it. There were some who thought they got into the position because of his name and his brothers. They associated him with being more of a playboy than a serious uh, politician. Uh, he was exactly the opposite. Whatever your political persuasion, you had to respect his lion-like uh, reputation in the U.S. Senate. It was that conviction that gave a voice to the powerless over the powerful. When it came to the rights of people who have no voice, and uh, I, I, my, my hope is that we can honor his legacy by, uh, by passing health care reform this year. We did not have a chance this morning to speak to any of the detractors of Senator Ted Kennedy, and in fact they are legion people who either dislike his liberal policies or dislike him personally for things that have happened in his life. He certainly fought demons all his life, but on this day of his death, this is a day to remember him fondly and for his achievements. JC? Michael, you're right. What an outpouring of love and support for the Kennedy family, and those will be big shoes to fill in the Senate. Thanks, Michael.